was in joy because it's 50 years since we became joint members of the YSCA and we have stayed in fellowship and we love each other deeply. But one other date that stays in my mind which really proved to be the turning point in my life the 30th of December, 30th of December, 1963. I'm not going to detail, but suffice to say <laughs> that Ma Rosebridge's mum asked her to deliver a plant, a lemon plant, yeah. to my mum. And that was the start of something quite wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> I was a child, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I remember travelling back to Ipswich the following day, and I think I must have been travelling on a cloud, because I don't remember details of the journey. But when I got back to Ipswich, one of our staff, a man by the name of John Cockett, looked at me. I must have had some strange expression on my face. <laughs> and John said, look at him. He's in love. <laughs> <laughs> and I was in love. And it's this good lady who has been wonderful support all my life to bring forth two lovely children and in due course their spouses and wonderful grandchildren. I truly thank God for so many blessings. I thank each and every one of you here today, because each and when every one of you has been, has made a significant part, has played a significant part and role in my life this 20 years, this 90 years. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting younger by the day. <laughs> <laughs> and just by way of interest, tomorrow morning, God willing, when I wake up in the morning, I shall wake up on the bed in which I was born yeah. 20 years ago. I thank God for that. I thank God for each and every one of you present here today. Good